back to my channel. I'm Katie and today I've got a Zara haul for you, which I'm so excited for. I freaking love Zara, literally. And we don't have one here in Tottenham, but the other day I went back to Cardiff and literally fell in love with like 90% of the store. You know where you literally could buy everything? So I've got a summer Zara haul for you and let's just get into it because I'm just too excited to wait any longer. If you enjoy this video though, give it a thumbs up, click the subscribe button down below, and um, there is a little, I can't remember which corner it's in, a little subscribe button which you can click right now to subscribe, and let's get into the video! So the first thing I've got to show you is this gorgeous white knit dress, and it's really a lot longer than I imagined it would be. I'm just gonna show you it close up. So I don't know if you can see like the ribbed, um, material and it's a lovely really thick quality material it's got gorgeous gold buttons down the side and then a little bit of a split in the lower bottom part of the leg which I absolutely love so I bought this in a medium um, I'm usually a size 10 to 12 I'm really really varying between UK sizes that is sorry um, I really do vary in, in whatever store I go in I tend to just look at an item and try and guess by looking at the item what size I'm going to be because otherwise I find it really, really hard. You can't just pick up a 10 or a 12 and just be like, yeah, that'll fit. It doesn't work these days. Like, shops need to sort out your sizing. Normally in Zara as well, I'm really always in between a medium and a large, which is really annoying. So, but I feel like with this, it's got a bit of stretch, so I went for the medium, and we'll just see how it fits. Um, it was 25 99 which I think is really good. It also comes in black, which I think will just be a perfect, like, Summer to autumn transitioning dress, like you could wear this, because of the thick quality, the thick material, you could wear this in between, which is just perfect. Um, you can either like dress it down with a pair of flip flops, or you could dress it up for like a day night out, day night out, you know when you go from like, you're going out for the day with the girls and you're going on straight into the evening, I think this would be great for something like that. I'm just going to show you these heels, which I, I bought to pair it with, and I bought a nice little nude bag or a gold bag would just be perfect. I am absolutely in love with these. They're so cute. Look at that little heel detail. So they're nude at the back and then white at the pointy toe. I bought them in a size eight because I find Zara shoes, I find a lot of shoes recently, I'm not gonna lie, are a lot smaller fitting than normal. Like I used to be a six to seven in shoes and now I'm a seven to eight. Um, I have got wide feet and these fit me lovely. So I always go up a size just to be on the safe side. Cause I mean, you can always get some you can always go down, can't you? These are $25.99, which I think is really, really good for a pair of shoes like that. Like, they look really expensive. And with that outfit, they're gonna just look great together. So the next item I've got for you is this little swimsuit. So I'm just about to go on my holiday, so I've got a packing video coming up for you, how to pack in a travel size, what's it called? Like, cut cabin luggage. <sighs> so I'll put the link up here for that. Um, unless, so when I've uploaded it, it'll be there. Um, and I just wanted some swimwear for holiday and I'm kind of not feeling bikinis at the minute. Like, there's not that many nice bikinis, but there's amazing swimming costumes everywhere. So I just thought, do you know what? Go a bit different, go a bit out of my comfort zone and just go for a swimming costume. You know what? You're there to please yourself. You're there to have a good time. You're there to feel great in yourself. So if that's what swimming costumes do for you, get a swimming costume. Bugger it, doesn't matter. Take a few bikinis, take a few swimming costumes, whatever. So anyway, I've got this gorgeous white swimming costume, which has got really nice lace-up detail at the front with the silver sort of, I forgot what they're called, silver bits. <laughs> it's got a really nice low scooped back, um, which I absolutely love. This was $25.99 as well, and I bought this in a size medium. It fits me lovely. It's a little bit cheeky on the bum, which we like. Get a bit more tan going on the cheeks. But the only thing I will say, I was a bit devastated, is this came, and I don't know if you can see, um, there's a little pink mark, oh, I can't really show you. There's a little pink mark on it, here, and there's like quite a bit of detail, like here, that's marked, so I will have to send this back, which makes me a bit sad, because I'm going on holiday in two days' time. So, and we don't have a Zara in Tottenham, so I ordered this online. So, this is unfortunately gonna have to go back items I've got to show you so I've got a this is meant to be a pale pink but as you can see I'm wearing a pink dress today and this is more of like a peachy it's more of a peach it's, it's not pink I would say at all it's a body so it's gonna go into these white shorts which are like the Bermuda paper bag shorts I think I'll show you them in a second but I bought this in a size medium 
and it does fit lovely, it's 15 99 but I'm really quite disappointed with the colour because I think that's just going to wash me out completely, it does not go with my hair colour, does not go with my skin tone. On a darker skinned girl, someone with olive skin, someone with tan skin, I mean darker hair it would probably look gorgeous on but peachy orangey tones just do absolutely nothing for me so unfortunately that's a no-go. They do do that body though in a few different shades so if you were looking for something like that when you were blonde like me then have a look online because I know there was a different shade of pink on there which I thought would be not as nice as that but I reckon it would have been nicer. Um, so yeah, check online for it. And $15.99 is so reasonable. So I'm going to pair it with these cute little shorts, which I think are adorable. And I really, really hope these fit me nicely. Um, I bought these in a large, to be on the safe side, because I've got a pair of Zara shorts that are large. And they are a little bit big around my waist, um, the ones I've already got. But I'd rather them be a little bit bigger than a little bit too tight shorts because when you're sat down and you've just had lunch or you're on holiday, I find my skin when I'm on holiday expands I don't know about you but like if I wear jewelry like a lot of rings on holiday or um, if I wear anything that's like a bit tight fitting I feel so uncomfortable on holiday because it I just feel like the heat makes my skin expand a little bit so I get a little bit plumper and I just think I don't want things to be tight and plump and uncomfortable when I'm on holiday I just want to be there and just enjoy so they actually look a little bit smaller than the ones I've got so hopefully they're gonna fit lovely they're really really cute they just look quite like smart and you can dress them up or down. I like a little pair of shorts rather than a skirt sometimes because it's just a little bit different. They've got a really cute little bow around the waist. And other than that, they're just kind of like a simple plain pair of white shorts. But I feel like denim white shorts are never really a great look. Um, they're always a little bit see-through, which is really a bit annoying. And this is just a good alternative, I think. And I think they'll be a bit more like comfy and like not as sweaty in the sun as well i hope so yeah cute and how much were these i think i just told you i'm not sure they were 19.99 which i think 20 quid for a nice pair of white shorts they literally will never go out of fashion because they're just white shorts perfect so the next item i've got to show you is another swimming costume now this is a yellow it was actually called golden i think it was called golden on the website golden swimming costume and it's a bit of a funny material like it is swim on the inside, but on the outside, it's kind of like um, a linen material, which I like. It's a bit different, but it also does dull the colour down quite a bit. Like, it looks a bit more sort of like a mustard yellow, and I want to kind of like quite a vibrant yellow. So as much as I like it, and it fits great, I'll show you it on. It was £25.99, I got it in a medium. The back is really cute as well, so it just like has a little tie bow at the back really cute nice and low cut again and a little bit cheeky so you can tie your bum cheeks which we love and this did actually do a lot for my bust area which most things don't swimwear wise so that was excellent um, i really liked it again but i do think the color would suit someone with a darker skin tone again more of an olive brown hair like a tan this would just look great on whereas on me i felt like the yellow and the yellow just clashed with my hair you know so I like it, but let me know if you think I should keep it or take it back. The next two items I've got for you, um, well three actually, um, kind of all go together. So what I'm thinking, we've got this little white body, so it's actually off-white. This was $17.99 and it's got lovely like lace detail, it's a really nice thin sheer material, but I don't think it's going to be too see-through, fingers crossed, as long as you wear nude under it. That's a really good trick as well, everyone, is always wear nude under white. Don't wear white under white, because white goes through, nude doesn't. Don't say I never give you anything, all right? Um, yeah, so I bought this in a size medium, it was $17.99. I think this would look nice in those white shorts, but sometimes if you think, I know I'm not that old, but I feel like I'm also not like that young that I can still get away with wearing like quite skimpy things. And especially like depends on what kind of holiday you're going on. If you're going on a girls holiday, if you're going on a family holiday, a holiday with your partner. You know, you kind of take different sort of outfits and that's completely fine. So I think this kind of thing with like a nice pair of like loose trousers, which I'll show you. I've got two options for you to go with this. Um, I think that will look very classy and very sophisticated rather than looking a little bit on the slutty side. I mean, no one wants to look like a slut. There's a few people out there that probably do. 
good for you, leave them to it. I don't, okay? I'm not 30 yet, but I still feel like I am approaching in a few years. Still got a few years yet though, all right? Um, but I just also think, now I'm buying things and I think, am I gonna want to keep wearing it in the next few years? Sort of like, as I get a little bit older. Things I used to buy, or I thought, oh, they're a little bit short. Oh, I don't really care. But now as I'm getting older, I'm getting conscious of those things. So I just think, anything I buy now, I want to see myself wearing it for the next three or four years. Unless, obviously, it's just a little cheapy that we could probably throw away before then. But otherwise, I want to kind of stick to like things, like I said, that I will enjoy to wear from, for a few years to come at least. And not feel like I've got too much exposed or it's a bit... I don't know. It's all probably in my head, but that's how I feel. So I'm just sharing it, okay? So I've got this lovely little body. It's got a lovely scoop back. So I probably wear like a nude stick-on bra with that. Um, and I'll show you the two trousers I've got to go with it. So first of all, I've got these white linen, um, I think they're called, I can never pronounce this, palazzo trousers. Pa um, palazzo, 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 palazzo trousers. Um, these were 29 99 and I bought them in a large. And now the large was a little bit big and the medium was a little bit small. But because they're like, kind of like that wide leg, loose fit, so I think it's a little bit better for them to be a little bit big than it is to be a little bit tight and then see-through because you just don't want see-through white trousers. Or you just don't want them too tight. But I think these are actually different to the ones I tried on in Zara. I'm sure they were a different material. I'm sure they were the material of the pink ones that I'm about to show you. Um, but I think for 30 quid, they're really like decent. They're good quality. They're thick. They're nice. I do really like them. They're kind of cash, kind of smart. Dress up, dress down. And they all look really, really nice with these shoes. So a nice nude bag. I mean, oh my God. I'm just in my element. All this nude and white and pink. So the other pair of trousers I think that would look great with them are these pinky ones. And I always find pink colours, when you buy them online, they're very deceiving. Like, you never know what kind of pink you're going to get. So I think these, I can't remember, I think they just said pink. But these were £39.99, so £40. And the quality of these feels a bit cheaper than the white ones, I'm not going to lie, even though they're £10 more. They look a little bit shorter, like in length, like I'm 5 foot 10, so we'll see how they fit. I mean, they actually look quite long, but they look less long than the other ones. Um, they've got a nice stretchy band at the back. Um, I'm not too sure about the colour, but we'll see what they look like on. And that's all I've got to say about these, really. I just think they're like kind of chilled, kind of sexy but smart and sophisticated without looking like you're trying too hard at the best of all worlds really and as always i've saved my favorite till last i feel like i always do this and it's always something pink probably <laughs> i feel like i'm very pink at the minute but i just love it you know when you're just loving something just go with it because if it makes you happy no one else matters oh how cute so I don't know if you saw in one of my previous videos, I'll link the thing up here. It's a Shein haul, um, which, oh my God, everything on there is so cheap. You have to go and check it all out because if you want some cheap holiday clothes, get on this website right now. Um, honestly, like, great. But the, the swimwear that I got from there, I kept two bikinis, which I absolutely loved, but the rest did go back and I tried to get a pink swimmer costume there. And or well, you'll see in this video, it just did not look great. Whereas this one, Oh, it's so, this is like the nicest colour pink going. It's got a lovely like neckline. I love spaghetti straps. Um, also, look at the back. Like literally, I love it. Absolutely gorge. Really nice, sort of like comes in on the bum as well. Makes your bum look nice and perky. Really cute. Love it. That's in a medium as well. And it's 29 99 which I think is 30 quid for some costume. It's just great because... You'll wear it like two or three years, probably something like that. It's quite classy. It's not really going to go out of fashion massively. Like, it's probably not something I'd wear past 35. I don't know. But anyway, I think it's nice. Nice little swim costume. And it's really nice, thick quality. It's double lined, which is excellent. And we love it. I literally love it. So that's everything I've got to show you today. Like, that is... A, just a quick little great haul, I think. Like, that's a few, like, five, 
five holiday outfits right there. Five holiday pieces. Literally so easy. Zara is absolutely smashing it at the minute. There was a, quite a few things actually that I wanted to get on the Zara website that were out of stock and the next day after I placed my order they did email me a few of them had come into stock but I then thought oh it'll be too late for it to get here for me to film before I go on holiday so unfortunately I haven't ordered those pieces but they are pieces that I'll keep in mind and if they're still in stock I may get them for future haul videos because I'll insert a picture of one top here. This I absolutely love and I think with those white linen trousers will just look absolutely gorgeous and also with the like, white shorts but also like with a white skirt or even like a pale pink skirt or, or like a pastel colour, neutral colour skirt, anything. It's just going to go with so many different things and it's just really pretty, really different and a lot of the clothes I wear are plain. So it's nice to have something like a little bit floral with a little bit more colours in um, because I kind of stick to the sort of similar plain things that I tend to think are classier and tend to not go out of fashion but they're also quite feminine, quite chic and quite pretty. So I hope you enjoyed the Zara haul today and um, please give it a thumbs up if you did, it means the absolute world to me. Um, I'd love it if you could go and check out some of my other videos and like I said click either here or here for the subscribe. Um, but a picture of my face will come up in a minute and you can click on that anyway. Um, but other than that, leave me a comment if you like any of the items, if you hate any of the items, whatever. Just leave me a comment, let me know your feels about it all. If you're having a holiday this year, let me know because I can't wait. I'm going to Portugal in a day or two. So have a great time, have a great, have a great time if you're going on holiday. Have a great week. Love you all. Thank you for being here and I'll see you soon.